Hey guys, this is part 12 of the LibGDX desktop tutorial. So in the last video we've got the player score, the player lives, pretty much the game is finished, we just have to add the small stuff in here, um, like the sound. That's one of the things that I really want to get across in this tutorial. So uh, that's what we're going to do in this video, the sound, audio, music, stuff like that. Um, so if you've seen my previous platformer tutorial and you took a look at part 9, the source code there, you're going to recognize that I have this jukebox class and that's what I'm going to use for this Asteroids game. So over here in Managers, we're going to add a new class called Jukebox. And this class is basically going to hold all of our music, or sound. Uh, LibGX has two classes to hold, I think there's only two, I don't know, there are two classes to hold uh, audio files. It has something called sound, and it has something called music. Now Asteroids doesn't really have any music, so we're not going to be using music in here, we're only going to be using sound. So we're going to be using a hash map with a string sound key value pair and we're just going to call this sounds. Go ahead and import those and we're just going to set it up here just initialize the sounds hash map new hash map string sound now this string is going to be the name of the sound that we're going to use and sound is obviously the audio file so what we're going to need to do is we need to load some sounds into the game. So public static void load. First of all, we need the path to the audio file, string path. And we also need to give it a name, string name, which is what we're going to use as the key in the hash map. So uh, sound, sound is gdx audio dot new sound. And then gdx dot files dot internal path go ahead and import that um, and then we're going to put that new sound file into the hash map sounds.put using the name and sound there we go now we're going to have three methods to uh, control the sound we're going to have public static void play which is we also need the name because we want to find out which audio file file we want to play. So sounds that get name dot play. We need a loop. String name again. Sounds that get name dot loop. Oops. And we want to stop the music. Public static void stop string name sounds that get name dot stop. I don't know why I put a zero in here. That's weird. Anyway, play, loop, and stop. Um, this is optional. Uh, in case you want to stop every sound effect in the game. Uh, we're probably not going to use this, but might as well have it. In case we ever do need to use it. We're going to use this fa fancy for loop here that Java has. Sort of a shortcut. For sound s in sounds.values s.stop. Basically, it goes through the entire hash map and um, for every sound value just calls stop on it, pretty much. So now that we have our jukebox, um, we can go ahead and... Uh, oh! We need to load some sounds, right? So, where is it? Let's go into the main game here. This is where, uh, again, if you don't remember, this is the main game. This is the actual game here. Uh, in the create method, this is the first thing that gets called when the game starts. So, uh, I guess we can just load all the sounds when the game starts here. So, over here, you can do jukebox.load. We're going to load a bunch of stuff here. Go ahead and import jukebox. Um, Oh, we need sounds. We need sounds. Right. Over here. I have all of these uh, sound effects. Um, I tried to get them as close to the original Asteroids game sound as I could. 
So res fonts, let's go ahead and um, create a new folder here. Just call this sounds. And I'm going to put all of these. I'm going to have a link to these uh, audio files in the description. So we're just going to pop those in sounds here. There we go. And if you go into the desktop project, hopefully the sounds are all there. Yes, okay. So, sounds. All of these sounds are what we're going to use for the game. So we're going to load those up. Remember, we need the path first. So the path is sounds slash... Um, we're going to need explode.og. Uh, and we're going to need a name. I'm just going to call it Explode. Uh, we're going to use that for now as an example. So the Explode sound effect, uh, let's see what it actually sounds like. Okay, so that's like a, I don't know, 2-bit audio file. It's, it's so... Anyway, um... Let's go back into play state, and we need to actually play this explode sound. When exactly do we need to play the explosion sound? Well, uh, when the player explodes, or gets hit with an asteroid, or when a bullet destroys an asteroid, right? So, let's go into the play state check collisions method. This is where all the collisions happen. Whenever a player it's an asteroid, obviously we're going to want to play that explosion. So we're going to do jukebox.play and then explode. And over here, bullet asteroid collision, we're also going to play the explosion sound. Jukebox.play, explode. Oops. There we go. Let's see if this actually works. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Let's see if uh, it plays when I get hit. Sweet. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, th that's the sound. So using this jukebox class that holds all of the sounds that we want makes it pretty easy. So back in game, we can just load up all of the sounds that we need. Uh, let's see, over here, so let's go ahead and load up everything, jukebox.load, uh, sounds, slash, uh, extra life, and just call this extra life, uh, there's a lot of them, so just gonna copy paste, sounds, large saucer, just call it large saucer, Uh, pulse high. Pulse high, pulse low. Um, pulse low, and then oops, over. Saucer shoot, shoot. Saucer shoot. Call it saucer shoot. Uh, shoot, oops, and small saucer, call it small saucer, and thruster. There we go. So those are all the sound files that we're going to need. So um, let's put it into the game. Uh, go back into play states, we have explosion. Uh, what else uh, sound effects are we going to need in here? Probably just the explosions, right? So let's go ahead and, and go into player here. We're going to need quite a few sound effects for the player. Um, let's see. Set up here. Whenever we press the up button, we want to play the thruster sound. So, um, first of all, if B, if true, if we're pressing the up button and not up, it wasn't up before, then we're going to play 
we're gonna loop actually the thruster sound. Else, if we let go of the key, then we're going to stop the thruster sound. Oops. So let's see if that works. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we got. Oops. Um. <clears throat> we got the thruster sound. Uh, we have a shoot method here. So let's go ahead and put that in. Jukebox that sh play shoot. Let's go ahead and see. Cool. Okay, we have shoot and thruster. Um, what else? Oh, there's a problem, right? If I have the thruster on and I get hit, it's going to keep going. So watch. Oh, or not. Yeah, see, even though the player is destroyed, the thruster keeps playing. So, um, over here in update, we're gonna have to, or not update, I meant hit, we're gonna have to fix that. If hit, hit is true, and let's just go ahead and stop the thruster sound from playing whenever we're hit. So let's see if that works. Oh wow. Okay, it's still playing. That is weird. I'm stopping thruster. I spelled it right, right? Hmm, that's weird. Maybe I did something. Or I missed something. Hmm. Anyway, let's do extra lives for now. Play. Extra life. Extra life sound goes there. Uh, 10,000 points is going to be. It's going to take a while, so I'm not going to test that. But it should work. Um, the thruster. Why is the thruster not working? It keeps playing even though the player is dead. Set up. Hmm. Maybe if we do and not hit over here. Okay, there we go. That works. So just put and not hit. Sweet. So those are sound effects pretty much. Um. Let's see, I'm at 12 minutes. I can do the background, the background music. Well, there's no background music for the Asteroids game, it's just this, uh, boom, 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 depending on how many Asteroids there are left in the game, or in the level, or whatever wave that you're on. So, this is where the, uh, let's go back in the play state, this is where the number of Asteroids left comes into play. Um, so let's go over into, where is it, uh, update I guess, we'll put it in update. Check collisions over here, after check collisions we're gonna do play background music. Um, first off we're gonna need a background timer, plus equals DT, so let's go all the way back up to the top and pop that up in here. Um, we're gonna need some variables to keep track of the background music. We're gonna need max delay, or so minimum delay, the current delay, and uh, we need the background timer, and a boolean. We want to know if we want to play the low pulse or the high pulse. So play low pulse. Here. Cool. So, um, if we go to the init method, where is it? Init here. And uh, we set all that up. Set. Oop. Set up BG music. Over here, we're going to do max delay. Let's equal to one. One second is uh, the longest interval between the boom, boom, boom sound and the minimum is gonna be quarter of a second and the current delay is gonna be max delay so as the number of asteroids left gets smaller 
the delay gets shorter and it starts going faster. Boom, 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 boom. As uh, you kill more asteroids. VG timer is max delay. And play low pulse is true. Sweet. Okay, so now that we have all that down, let's go into the spawn asteroids method. Um, we have the total asteroids. Let's do current delay is equal to max delay. Um, just add that there in order to set the current delay to the max delay whenever we start a new level. So, if we update next level, hmm, what else do we need? Anyway, yeah, let's go back down here where we play the background music. So, background timer plus equals ET. If the player isn't hit and the background timer is greater than or equal to the current delay, then we have to play one of the pulses. So, if play low pulse, then we're gonna do jukebox, oops, jukebox.play low pulse. It's called pulse slow, by the way. Not low pulse, else we're going to play the high pulse. Jukebox.play pulse high, and then we're going to do play low pulse equals not play low pulse. So that that's going to switch, and we're going to set the BG timer to zero. Let's see if that works. Oops, this is player dot is hit. Let's see. Let's see if it gets faster. Uh, when we kill more asteroids, it should get faster. Okay, it's not getting any faster. So obviously, um, that's because I'm not, uh, what do you call it? I'm not. Um, setting the current delay correctly. And uh, we only want to set the current delay every time we kill an asteroid, so might as well put it in the split asteroids method, right? Because this method gets called every time you kill an asteroid. Asteroids left, minus minus, and what we're going to do is current delay is equal to, and we're going to set it so that the current delay gets smaller every time we kill an asteroid. Uh, from max delay to minimum delay. So this is just like a tween type uh, formula. I'm gonna, it's kinda long, so num asteroids left divided by total asteroids plus min delay. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna move it down. Like that. So current delay is equal to max delay minus min delay times number of asteroids left divided by the total asteroids plus the minimum delay. So let's see if the sound now gets faster. So it's slow when you have the total asteroids left, and it gets faster when you kill more and more asteroids. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic premise of the uh, sounds over here in Jukebox. LibGX makes it easy. All you have to do is create a new sound here, <laughs> given a path, and that's pretty much it. You just call sound.play and it'll play. Or sound.loop, sound.stop, pretty much that's it. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.